The Federation of Small Businesses has been in existence since 1974. Um, we're not really a business ourselves, we're a non-profit making support organisation that exists to protect and promote the interests of small businesses in the UK. Most people that don't know much about us will have seen us on the TV fighting with the government or the banks or some such thing about problems that, that we perceive they're causing our, our members. Um, the, the main reason we exist, as I say, is to protect and promote the interests of small businesses. And we do that in all sorts of ways. Uh, all sorts of ways. The, 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 the organisation has got 200 or in excess of 200,000 members which gives us a lot of teeth. So whenever legislation is deemed to be having an unfair negative impact on small businesses uh, we've got the wherewithal to challenge it and to try and get it into some sort of semblance of order. Um, having said all that, um, the, the, it's nice I think most people think that, that there's somebody out there fighting for the rights of small businesses but it's probably not why most people join the Federation. I think it's probably true to say that most small business owners join the Federation for the benefits of membership uh, which really is, is, is sensible because the, the main concern of any small business is to put food on the table and to pay their bills at the end of the month so they need to be, to be um, getting something out of their membership. Uh, there's three real areas other than the, the, the lobbying side of what we do that we deal with and that's legal support, financial support and excuse me, business development support. Um, legal support is really important. When you start a business in the UK, you pretty soon find out you're on your own. Uh, and it's, it's important that you get things right because there's always somebody there when you get it wrong. So FSB employ an awful lot of lawyers and employment consultants and health and safety consultants and people that know what to do. We're open all the time and you can phone us up at any time if you need help. Specifically on the legal side of the things, uh, we offer a full employment HR service which gives all of our members access to legal documents, contracts of employment, risk assessments for their staff, uh, support on a daily basis. We're open all the time. We're open 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. And you can phone us up if you're not sure what to do. If you get into trouble, it's our job to try and dig you out of it. So we're there when you need us, primarily to keep you legal. We do that by, by making you compliant, but also when things go wrong, uh, we've got lawyers there to help you out. Uh, the, the other big area that we deal with, apart from employment, is tax. We've got our own tax department. Um, our members don't need to take out fee protection insurance to, to cover tax investigations because it's part of the membership. Um, we employ ex-government tax inspectors and if you get caught up in a tax investigation, uh, we'll be there to support you. Just because you're having a tax investigation doesn't mean you've done anything wrong. They can do it randomly and more and more these days people find that tax uh, uh, is a complicated issue and they can get into all sorts of trouble. What we're there for is not to, to, to help people to, to, to not pay tax but to make sure that you're not paying tax that you, you don't owe. Uh, the other area we deal with is legal representation insurance for directors. Directors and officers of companies are very, very uh, liable for what happens in, 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 in their business. And uh, it's not ne necessarily a case that they've done anything wrong. Being a director or, or an officer in the company can make you liable for, for things that go wrong in the company. So it's important that you've got legal cover. I have to say most people haven't these days because it's a very expensive business. So uh, people are vulnerable, they haven't got cover, lawyers are very expensive um, and, a, and a protracted legal case can, can ruin businesses. So as a member of the FSB, uh, our lawyers are free if you need them. Um, the financial side of what we do is based on the fact that we've got an awful lot of buy-in power. We've got getting on for 210,000 members. Um, that means that there's a lot of organisations out there that would like to, to, to deal with our membership. Uh, so the deal there is that we broker deals on behalf of our members uh, in order that they can get products and services that they can't get uh, on their own. Uh, the, the biggest one of all is free business banking, which is free for life. It's with the co-op. We like the co-op. Um, the co-op are an ethical bank, but they're also a free bank, which is good. Uh, we've, we've got... Um, uh, a deal on credit card machines, uh, chip and pin and e-commerce facilities and we also get most of our members cheaper insurance through their membership so commercial insurance, vehicle insurance, that sort of stuff. The deal there is really is to, 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 don't, to don't buy anything to check with us first to see if we can save you some money on it. The, the third area that I mentioned was business development. Uh, business development is, is, is something that really is, is becoming 
uh, an important part of what we do. There's, there's been a recession on, people are struggling to, uh, to get new business. Uh, what, one of the biggest assets the organisation's got is its membership, 200 plus thousand members. There's a very strong ethic in the FSB for members to use each other, so we try and facilitate that by putting on events all over the country, networking events and so social events and all sorts of things. And um, the more people that know what you do, the more business you, you do, basically. So we try and get members out uh, out of their workplaces, come to some of our events, talk to other businesses. Hopefully they'll they'll do some business, they'll have some fun. Uh, and also it's a great way of, uh, of learning a bit more about running businesses. I think most of us have got a finite knowledge about how businesses work. We all know what we know and we're all good at our jobs, but we don't know everything. So mixing with other people that have had different experiences is a great way of learning all that sort of thing. So all in all, there's, there's, there's a lot to be, to be had from, from the Federation. Um, the reason we've got so many members is because we're very good at what we do uh, and it doesn't really cost an awful lot. It should be self-funding. If you, if you get the free banking and the cheap insurance, then that means that your legal costs and your, your employment cover and your, uh, your tax investigation cover is paid for uh, by somebody else, which is really good. So if you want to know more about becoming a member of the Federation, please contact me. Uh, and if, you, if you're in my area, I'll come back to you and I'll, I'll deal with it for you. If you're not in my area, I'll pass it on to a colleague uh, who is in your area and uh, hopefully we'll be able to see you as a new member. So thank you for listening.